There were uh, centuries where they thought that even the practice of communion had healing powers. With a community in their moment of solidarity coming together will bring the sick before them and in that moment take communion together that the very, very body of Christ and the blood of Christ might wash over those who are in need. So as I invite all of us, those that are watching on our stream and those in the building, I invite all of us to stand. But today, what will be slightly different is if you have any health ailment, anything that you're praying that God will be healing you for, I would invite you to the altar and as we take communion together today, we'll take it as a community, but also knowing that we get a chance to bear the burdens of one another. What makes the church and really the community so special is that we share, not just in the joys of God, but even in the suffering of God. And when we share that suffering together, it's made a little bit lighter. When we share that suffering together, it's made a little bit more palatable. When we are willing to share, not just in the joys, but even in the challenges, we begin to bear the marks of the Christian community that has emanated for millennia. So today, as we prepare, let us lean even deeper into our community together. There's still time, there's still time for anyone that wants to come. Whatever your ailment might be, and I'm one of those that believe that sometimes we can stand even in representation. Uh, scripture tells us that Jesus intercedes on our behalf. He stands in our place. And so maybe it's not you, but you want to stand as a representation for a loved one, a close friend. We welcome that you would come to the altar. There's more space, please come on in. We want everyone to get a chance to come. And if we can, let us prepare our hearts and minds together in prayer. Holy and wonderful God, we come to you with thanksgiving in our hearts, acknowledging the amazing beauty and glory that you are. Thank you for your overarching care. Thank you for the intricacies that you uh, continue to provide for us in our daily lives. Thank you for your grace and your mercy. And thank you that you send them chasing after us. And now, God, as we come, we want to prepare ourselves. Scripture reminds us that we don't want to take this meal unworthily, but we want to review ourselves, be honest before you, truthful before you. And so I stand as the voice piece for our community, God, asking for your forgiveness. God, we ask that you would forgive all of the things that we have done, all the things that we have said, all the thoughts that we have held that have been unlike you, all the ways that your light has not been able to shine in us and through us, being hampered by our own sinfulness. God, we ask that you would forgive us. And we thank you that this ritual reminds us that it is not our righteousness, but it's the righteousness of your son, Jesus, whose blood covers over, covers over us and washes us clean as snow. So God, we come now asking that you would cleanse us again, making us yours. And God, in this moment, we have standing before the altar, these your children who stand in need either individually and personally or as a representation of other loved ones who may not have been able to be here. 
God, we lift them up to you today, asking that as we take these elements, as we ingest your body and your blood, that you would be the remedy for our ailments, God that you would be the balm in Gilead, God, that you would be the lily of the valley, God, that you would be the bright and morning star, God, that you would be the very thing that we need, that where doctors may not be able to, to, to respond, where medical professionals may not be able to help, God, where the therapist may not be able to help, God, that you would allow your spirit to enter in, regulate hearts and minds, God, regulate, Lord God, nervous systems, God, regulate digestion, Digestive systems, God. Regulate every single system in the name of Jesus, the name above every name, the name that every knee shall bow, the name that every tongue shall confess, the name that has power both on this life and in the next. God, we claim right now that you would move on us. And we pray, God, that those of us who are in a good position would bear the infirmity of the weak that we might send the enemy to flight for one can fight a thousand but two God can fight ten thousand and three can fight over a hundred thousand God so God do now what only you can and as we prepare for these elements let them be medicine for both our bodies and our souls this is our sincerest prayer, God. And it is in your marvelous son, Jesus' name. And all of God's people say, amen.